one knot to build it all. Using this knot, which is called the square lashing, I have built anything from tree houses to a canoe to a six person river raft and it was even used to build part of this stone age boat which I helped build. This knot is used to connect two sticks or two logs at 90 degrees, like this. So I'm gonna give you a demonstration of how to tie this knot. It's a little complex, but it's not too hard. So let's go. The first part of this knot is called a clove hitch. It is used to tie the end of the rope to the log before starting the main lashing. If you want to make this knot even more secure, you can instead use a constrictor knot, which you can find on the internet. So now we start by wrapping the rope around the second log and then behind the first log again. Then you'll repeat this process two more times. So in the end you'll have three ropes next to each other at every point. You have to make sure that the ropes always go on the inside of the rope that's there from before, on one of the logs, but on the outside of the rope that's there from before, on the other log. This is to make sure that the ropes don't cross anywhere and weaken the lashing. Now, after repeating this three times, you'll start to wrap the rope around the rest of the knot. And this is to tighten the knot as much as possible. And it's very important to pull this very tight. So here I'm using my body weight by pushing with my foot to tighten it as much as possible. After also doing this three times, it is time to end the knot by using another clove hitch, just like the one in the beginning. But this time, you can either choose to put it on the second log, or you can put it on the first log again. So as you can see, this knot is very sturdy. It will definitely keep the logs from sliding up or down. However, this knot is just designed to do that. It does not really keep it from turning like this. So if you want to avoid this issue, you have to attach a diagonal piece like this using the same knot. So let me show you how I've used the square lashing to make some really cool things. I've organized three different rafting trips, where we built our own rafts out of materials from the forest, inflatable mattresses and rope. These whole rafts were constructed using this knot. Rope is light and easy to carry, making it possible to build some really cool things out in nature like this tree house that I built to live in for one month in the summer. We also used this knot to build a frame for a canoe on one of the rafting trips. We used this canoe for many days and it worked really well before we had to leave it behind and go home. Have you used the square lashing or do you have another knot that you really like? 
please share down in the comments. Thanks for watching and if you like this kind of stuff, feel free to subscribe. There's more coming.